Hey everybody, this is Hunter Scott, your Monster Cub. I'm here with Rhino today. We're going to do our official Batman vs. Superman review. He and I have both been looking forward to this for a very long time. And in fact, we weren't that disappointed. A lot of people seem to uh, have mixed reviews. We're going to talk about a few things today. We will make sure you don't get anything spoiled for you. And we'll leave you feeling maybe you uh, will actually like this movie. I did, but um, without further ado, we're going to have a couple questions and go from there. So, number one. Who is your favorite actor or character? You, you might be surprised, but I actually enjoyed Batman the most. The way they portrayed this Batman, you know, I feel like usually, like almost all his movies, you have every new actor starting off with like an origin story, which is kind of boring in my opinion. I'm like, yeah, his parents get killed, he like runs away, comes back. I mentioned in the movie, he's been doing it for like about 20 years, so that was pretty cool. They did have some honorable mentions, like, uh, like Robin. Robin, who we think is Jason Todd, because he's the only known Robin to die. Surprisingly, Ben Affleck was pretty good. I mean, I always like Henry Cavill, and you know, him as Superman is pretty good. Uh, but Ben Affleck surprisingly did a good job as Bruce Wayne. Um, so, uh, it was surprising to me, but of course my, my favorite would have to be uh, Superman, Henry Cavill, so. What did you, what, what worked for you with Batman vs. Superman? Well, I think um, as a Batman fan growing up, I've always liked seeing um, a lot of times where you see Batman and Superman clash, like those two specifically. You know, it's kind of part of like your childhood, so seeing it on like the big screen was really good. Um, I will say this though, the actual battle in the movie, I feel like the trailers ruined that for me because the fighting was so brief. And like, I think about like 96 and a half percent of the fight you saw in the trailers. That was the first thing that like blew me off a little bit about the movie. Um, another thing I didn't like, Superman's death. You know, he's got, you know, you already know way before this movie comes out that they're having Justice League and you see the teasers and you see that Superman's obviously in it. I mean, you can't have Justice League without Superman. So I feel like that was just another excuse for them to throw like another comic book storyline. You know, right before the movie ended, hey, you know, you, you, you want to know how we can end the movie? We can end it with um, Superman dying, and then, like, you know he's gonna come back, but, you know, just for, like, dramatic effects. And, you know, I feel like... So, what did I like most about the movie? Uh, lots of action, touching on characters, uh, setting up a lot of that franchise and everything with DC. Uh, I was not that disappointed in the acting of uh, Wonder Woman and, and Batman and, and Superman, um, and I, I think that everything went really well there. Uh, they did do a good job at building the tension between the two of them throughout the movie, and the music was really good, and um, the costumes were awesome, you know. Uh, this Batman was a little more gritty than some of the other ones, even more so than Christian Bale's Batman. Um, so I, I, I was into that for sure. I, I like the direction they're going with it being more dark and more gritty. Um, what I didn't like uh, is that continuity and story-wise they kind of mucked it up a bit. Uh, they kind of made some big mistakes. And um, they introduced, they, there's this new thing with all these superheroes, they're introducing too many characters too quickly. And while, you know, Marvel uh, had a lot of time to build their origins of all their characters, they kind of just threw this together for DC, which could have totally worked and total, totally been a lot better had they not just like teased us with some things. And we'll get into that later. Um, and also, I did not like Jesse Eisenberg as Lex Luthor. Um, like, Lex Luthor works in this. I'm kind of tired of seeing Lex Luthor in all the Superman movies. Like, there are other villains that are actually really good within the Superman's universe, and Batman's universe for that matter. 
that aren't being explored, they're not being utilized, and that, you know, for the, those of us that actually follow the series, we would like to see something fresh and new, and not the same old shit over and over again. Um, and that being said, I, I think that they've got a nice, um, a nice start, a nice foundation for something. Uh, but they're going to have to tweak some stuff when they get ready to do a Justice League movie and a Wonder Woman movie. The Wonder Woman movie might be amazing. It might be the the first female superhero movie since, like, that actually did well. I mean, we consider Elektra and Catwoman failures. Uh, you know, I hope the Wonder Woman one comes out good. And I hope that it comes out before Captain Marvel does, because that shit is taking forever. After watching the trailers, after watching this movie, do you still feel like this was a Man of Steel sequel, or you felt like this was just like a big mashup of thing? In a way, it was a Man of Steel sequel, but... Um, there was much more focus on Bruce Wayne and Batman than, uh, than it would be implied. Uh, that, with that being said though, they're not doing these straight origin stories, they're not doing, uh, you know, the same thing that Marvel's doing. So it makes sense to me that they would probably try and get two or three new characters in one movie together, and the like I said, the way that they teased the other characters was, it was okay. They didn't have to do it. They could have shown like one and like a, a end credit scene, and that would have been okay. That would have been enough. But um, you don't want a clusterfuck like you do with Spider-Man Three and all those other ones and, and X-Men. You don't want that. Um, then again, that's Fox, that's not even DC. Uh, I still thought that the fight was way too short between the two. Everything was way too convenient, you know. They have this kryptonite, and, uh, you know, Henry Cavill can pick it up, but only for a little bit. And that Batman just happened to make these grenades out of this shit, and it fucked him up. And they use the same shit on Doomsday, and yet they're worried about getting a kryptonite spear shoved through his chest from, you know, a hundred yards away, which to me seems pretty goddamn dumb that the one guy that can't even hold the fucking thing is the one who's trying to carry it. I mean, you're, you're technically, like, risking your, your whole future on, like, the little cripple kid that can't even do a lap around the, the field, you know? I mean, that's what, I mean, essentially the whole movie were built to feel like, oh, Superman's all powerful and he's this big, bad motherfucker and all that. And we have to be worried that he has absolute power so he could possibly be bad. And you know, when you watch Man of Steel, everyone makes a big, a big deal about, oh, he broke Zod's neck at the end. He killed a guy in this movie in the first 10 minutes. Like... I don't know what you're thinking, oh yeah, some of those guys shot those other guys were, but he fucking punched a dude through a concrete wall and then some. Like, the, there is no living beyond that. There is no nothing. Like, he killed that guy for Lois. Now, uh, to see him, like, be Lex Luthor's bitch at the end and, and, and die from, from kryptonite and all that other crap and, and and get, you know, snuffed out by dark, which they, you know, they, they did the doom, doomsday thing, which was fine, you know, that was okay, but they added that, I guess. I mean, you know, it, it worked. They didn't have to kill Superman. You kill him in the second fucking movie, but then he comes back, whatever. Uh, I don't even know how that is possible. Um, well, you saw his, the little dirt rise at the end, maybe that was, like, you know... Well, they need more DC villains, and I think that it, based on the Bruce Wayne... What do you think, which villains do you think deserves so, to be a main, not just like a little side villain that, you know, they, they, that they opened the movie with, and you know, you throw, like, the main villain? Well, it be Darkseid. It has to be Darkseid. I would say either Dark, at this point it has to be Darkseid, um, 
It could also be Brainiac. They haven't done Brainiac in live action except for. Did they do it in Smallville? I think they did it in Smallville. They probably did. They did have Supergirl, but that was a mess. Um, that Supergirl doesn't exist yet. <laughs> um, who else? Vandal Savage has not done well. Yeah, yeah that's. I have a lot of things to talk about. How do you feel about the inclusion of the new characters? I mean, I like the idea. I love cameos. I love, love, love cameos. But, I mean, <clears throat> what she did with it in this movie, I feel that, like, you know, with The Flash, you know, I love The Flash. It's another favorite hero of mine. But I feel like, you know, the little vision that Bruce had with the portal and you could barely see him, like, I didn't even recognize him. I was sitting next to Hunter and I'm like, who is that? <laughs> And he goes, that's the Flash. I'm like, oh shit, okay. So, you know, that was a little confusing. And then the actual, like, footage that they had of him, like, you know, in the convenience store, you know, like, he wasn't even in costume. Like, they, I don't know, I don't like what they're doing with that Barry Allen. Um, at first I was disappointed with TV's Barry Allen, but I kind of like him now, so I thought that would have been cool if they at least, like, you know, I'm not asking for, like, Ben Affleck or Henry Cavill to show up on the CW. But, you know, at least those heroes, I mean, you have them out of the way. You know, they're members of the Justice League, and I think that, um, well, so, oh, Aquaman, um, I like his look. I like the, you know, tribal stuff, the trident. He looks really powerful, the way he just, like, straight out, like, shot straight out through the ocean. Like, I thought that was pretty cool. Um, he was the one I, he, his cameo I liked the best out of all of them. And then, um, what was the other one? Oh, Cyborg. Cyborg was like, okay, like you saw his father, you know, Dr. Stone, and you know, I thought that was okay, but you know, didn't see much. Uh, Wonder Woman, I'm finally relieved that they actually put Wonder Woman in the live action um, universe. You know, she wasn't like my first choice of actress I would have picked for her. Maybe I would have picked like King Beckinsale or like. Shit, maybe even Jane Lynch, I don't know. <laughs> Someone else, but you know, she- uh, Jane Lynch. Yeah. From Glee. From Glee. You're-, you're They have an you're old real. Bruce Wayne, so why not have an old <laughs> Wonder Woman? <laughs> that wouldn't have gone well. No, I'm excited for her solo movie, which um, Hunter mentioned earlier that, you know, they're pushing all these characters into one. So you had Man of Steel, and, you know, you have Superman's origin story, but, you know, you just throw in Batman and Wonder Woman, and then you throw out all these other, you know, it's like... And then have solar films, solo films after Justice League? I mean, that's a little weird to me. So, I mean, I'm still not a Marvel fan, but at least they did their Avengers thing. So, uh, in conclusion, yeah, I recommend everyone go see Batman. How many stars out of ten? Out of ten? Out of ten. Uh, eight. Seven and a half. Seven, mm -hmm. seven and a half. Mm -hmm. It is not the best superhero movie. It is not the worst superhero movie. It's better than the average. Um, probably because I like the characters so much. Um, you know, I think about a lot of the Marvel solo films that just stunk. And, uh, you know, The Age of Ultron was like more like the long weekend of Ultron, and it wasn't all that in a bag of chips, you know. Plus, uh, I don't know. It just, it, it, it's good. It's alright, you know. It ain't Deadpool. It ain't a Winter Soldier. But, uh, you know, it's okay. Um, I'm looking forward to whatever comes next, if they do Justice League, Wonder Woman, uh, Aquaman, movie, I'm, I'm game for all those. Uh, I don't like Jesse Eisenberg as Lex Luthor, I don't know if he'll be in the next movie. I imagine he'll be making a cameo. I hope he's not in there as much. Like, he, he makes a, a, a reference to him being some sort of devil guy uh, from from space, and I'm assuming he's talking about Dark Side. So, uh, well, they'll bring that in next time. You know, we'll we'll see where that goes. Um, but yeah, go see it. Um, 
and uh, take your man and wear your cute little outfits.